Hi, I'm Taylor. Welcome to my channel where I share my life and travel experiences as an American expat in Malaysia. Today I want to talk about medical in Malaysia, a subject that should interest any expat thinking of retiring here. So join me as I share my medical experiences in Malaysia. Today I want to talk to you about medical costs in Malaysia. This is just my experience, so it's not going to apply to everyone. But it'll give you a rough idea of what things cost. Even though I don't have extravagant medical needs, I do know that I probably would not be able to afford it in the U.S., even with Medicare. Malaysian citizens receive universal health care provided by the government. I've heard that when they go to the public hospital, they only pay one ringgit, which is about 25 cents U.S. That said, there is a vast difference between public and private hospitals here in Malaysia. Standard of health care in Malaysia is first class, and Malaysia is a medical destination for Southeast Asia. My experience is that most doctors have had their training in the United States. My first few years in Malaysia, I didn't go to the doctor as I'm averse to it, as a lot of people are, but something happened that made me realize I needed to go regularly. I had a friend who had cosmetic surgery on her eyes, and it looked so great, and the cost was so amazing that I decided to check it out myself. Although it's been over a year since I've had the surgery, I'm still pretty pleased with the results. I had an upper and lower eye lift. You can see in this photograph what I looked like before and what I look like after. And you can see here what I look like now. My doctor was an ophthalmologist who did plastic surgery also. I went in for a checkup and to see about the procedure. And as a routine checkup, she took my blood pressure, which was pretty high. I'd had blood pressure issues in the past in the US and I used to take medication for it, but I had stopped. Anyway, she refused to do the surgery until I had my blood pressure looked at. I then made an appointment with the head of cardiology at the hospital. He did a complete evaluation. I had a complete blood test, urinalysis. I also had an ECG and an echocardiogram. ECG is what we call EKG in the US although ECG makes more sense. What amazed me was when I went in for the checkup, I was able to have the, t the blood test done and all the other tests all in one morning, getting the blood test results right away. So the doctor was able to get me started on some medication immediately. He diagnosed me with atrial fibrillation, commonly known as rapid heartbeat. This condition poses about a 25% greater risk of having a stroke. Anyway, he got it all under control and I was able to schedule my eye surgery. I think it's amazing that something that I did for vanity turned out to maybe save my life. So, getting to the cost of certain things, you won't believe it compared to the US. My first checkup, which included a complete blood workup, a urinalysis, an ECG, an echocardiogram, and a consultation with the doctor all came to less than $250 US. Unbelievable. As I've mentioned in other videos, my medicine costs are about 600 ringgit or $150 a month, which is pretty steep here, but it's really not that bad. I can afford it. Now this is all during COVID. So the hospital was running at peak efficiency because they had so many fewer patients coming from other countries. When the country opened back up, I noticed a big difference. It was way more crowded, but still not that bad. For instance, I would go in at 8.30 in the morning, get my blood test. Then if I needed it, I'd go by the heart center and get my ECG. Then I was done about hmm, maybe 9.15. Then I take my paperwork over to the doctor's office, knock on the door, and hand it to them. Then they say, oh, you're having blood work? Go out and have breakfast and come back in a couple hours. Actually, just one hour. So since I'd been fasting for the blood work, I went and had a nice 
piece of cake and a coffee. When I get back to the doctor's office, they wave me, and then I sat down to wait, maybe for 15, 20 minutes, and then I saw the doctor. He spent a long time explaining it all to me, and then prescribing the medication I needed to get me back to normal. After that, I was good to go for my eye surgery, which I was pretty scared about, but it turned out not so bad. The doctor had an operating room near her office where I was escorted and set up. I was kind of surprised, but the surgery was done just with a local anesthetic. The surgery took four hours, which is a long time to lay there having someone poke at your eyes and stitch them up. Afterward, a friend had met me there to take me home. And it took about two weeks or so before I really looked anything like normal again, but it was worth it. Now, what do you think the price was for this surgery? Uh, in the United States, I would say it would be $10,000 or more. I paid $2,500. That included everything. There was no extra charges for the operating room or anything. It was just total $2,500. I think that's pretty amazing. Since I've been so happy and comfortable with my cardiologist, I've continued to see him even after I've moved to KL. I'll just make a little trip of it to go back to Penang for my doctor's appointment, and it gives me time to visit my friends, which is great. At first, I was going back every month, then every two months, then every three months, and now it's gonna be every six months, which is wonderful. I went recently, and he did the whole thing again. Complete blood work, urinalysis, ECG, echocardiogram, which he does personally, and the consultation. I got all the tests done before 10, started at 8.30, but then they did say that they needed several hours to get the blood work. I guess because the hospital was so much more busy than it had been when I had visited in the past during COVID. Anyway, they told me I could go out to lunch and come back at 2.30, which I did, and I met with the doctor, got my results. Everything looked good, so I'm good to go for another six months. I'd noticed a little price increase since the first time I'd had all the tests done because I guess inflation is hitting everywhere, but still the total was only about $275 US. Unbelievable. Honestly, I feel so much better about going to the doctor here than I ever did in the US where, where I avoided it like the plague. It just seems really efficiently run here. I'll touch on dental a little bit too here. I regularly went to the dentist in the United States every six months for 30 years. And it wasn't that expensive, I guess, but I paid about $165 for my cleaning. It was considerably more if I had any, any kind of work done. Luckily, my teeth are pretty good. I did occasionally have a cavity replaced or something like that. Anyway, I've been really impressed with the dental in Malaysia. I found a nice clinic in Penang and I can assure you that the equipment is top notch and state of the art. I can have a regular checkup and cleaning for about $35. The last time I went, I had four of my front teeth veneered, not veneered, <laughs> bonding to cover up some surface cavities up near my gum line. And I also had a checkup and a cleaning then too. The total cost for that day was $125. So you can see the costs are just a fraction of what they are in the United States. Now I know this isn't gonna give you a comprehensive idea of what medical costs are like in Malaysia, but it should give you a general idea. Like I said, Malaysia is a medical destination for Southeast Asia. They have people coming from everywhere. So if medical is a concern for you in your plans to retire to Malaysia, don't let it be. It's fabulous. As always, if this video has been informative and you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to have a lot more tips about my life in Malaysia. Talk to you later. Bye.